Christmas or the holidays. It is that time of the year, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was so curious to say, uh, I want to see the tree stand that holds that tree yeah. up, but it looks like some kind of a permanent stand. And they drop it in. That, that they drop it into the ground. Yeah. Wise. Yeah. That's a big tree. It is. Huge tree. And we, four guys did it. I'm surprised it only took four guys. Of yeah. course, a big crane, but still, that yeah. was a gigantic tree. So beautiful sight, folks. Okay, here we go. Let's get some snow up in those mountains, shall we? And let's talk very quickly about what the holiday forecast is looking like. So I want you to just jump ahead to next Wednesday, Thanksgiving Day on Thursday and Friday. Now, granted, it's still a ways down the road. So confidence is not super high because some of the models are flip-flopping back and forth on what's going to be happening because we are talking about an event that is still over a week away. So next Wednesday, chance of showers on Wednesday, Thanksgiving Day, Thursday, a mix of clouds and sun with temperatures beginning to drop. And then on Friday, partly cloudy, but it could be chilly. Uh, some of the models are indicating that we could have some cold Canadian air moving in out of the north over the next uh, five, six, seven days or so, and that could cause our temperatures to start dropping. So we'll be watching, but for right now, we're watching this storm that's rolling in. As you can see it here on our diamond heating and cooling cam, the moisture is gradually increasing. We already had a scattering of showers here in the Treasure Valley, but here's the additional moisture that's flowing in from the southwest. So it's only a matter of time before we see more of this rain spilling into the Treasure Valley with some very high elevation mountain snow. Now, the issue with this is that the origin of this particular moisture is all the way from the subtropical regions. And as a result, snow levels are gonna remain fairly high. But here's what the computer models are showing around midnight tonight. Scattering of showers with some high elevation mountain snow. Now, notice what happens tomorrow morning around drive time. Yeah, there's going to be showers around, but it just doesn't look like there's a lot of energy to squeeze moisture out of these uh, clouds. So while I think we're going to be seeing some scattered showers, I'm going to call it periods of rain on again, off again through the day tomorrow with the best chance of shower activity, probably as the leading edge of the cold front begins to move in tomorrow evening. And that's when we should see the best chance of showers. Then hopefully snow levels will begin to drop a little bit. And then through the day on Friday, partly cloudy, it looks nice with just a few flurries expected up in the mountains. Outside right now, the temperature reading is actually above the average. We're at 49 degrees right now. Uh, winds are out of the south right now at about 21 miles per hour. And here's what's happening in the atmosphere. Notice we have this big area of low pressure spinning around right off the Seattle coastline. But where's the origin of the moisture that's affecting us? That low is acting like a surge pump and it's pulling in subtropical moisture from the southwest to the northeast. This is why the snow levels are going to be at 6,500 feet and above. So periods of rain expected in the valley tomorrow. Snow showers above 6,500 feet. Don't forget about that pass right there. Uh, going into the sawtooths, we could see some blowing and drifting of snow, but that's a pretty high pass up there. And then the leading edge of that colder air starts moving in here as it does by late tomorrow. Hopefully the snow levels will begin to lower just a little bit. So cloudy skies are expected for the Magic Valley. Periods of rain there. Rain snow showers across uh, Sun Valley with snow levels around 6,500 feet. And the Long Valley will also see uh, a rain snow mix tomorrow with snow levels right around 6,500 feet, which means it's just the tippy tops of our ski resorts that will accumulate snow, but we'll take it any way we can get it. So tomorrow, the periods of rain expected. Friday looks nice, partly cloudy skies. Saturday looks beautiful, sunny skies with a high of 46. Increasing clouds on Sunday with showers on Monday, some scattered showers on Tuesday. And we'll have to see what happens on Wednesday, but we could see a few showers as well. It definitely begins to feel like the holiday season right about now when you look up and you see the snow. Absolutely. You know, yeah. It's great. It's All a beautiful right. sight. Now we just get those skis up there. Yeah. <laughs>